Ariel Kestens, who's the aid coordinator for the International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Crescent, to see how the search and rescue efforts as well as the aid efforts are in the Bahamas. The infrastructure in Gran Bahaco, Abaco is uh, certainly disrupted in terms of electricity, in terms of water, and also in terms of the health system. Only the very injured and more ill of the people are being evacuated now from Gran Abaco to the port on Nassau. We estimate that there are 76,000 people that are going to be in need of some sort of humanitarian assistance from psychological first aid to shelter to the mid and long term, including water in the very short term, because obviously the hurricane has um, disrupted completely the water system in the Iceland. They are certainly in need of food at this very stage because people may have been without food for the last two or three days. We in the International Federation of the Red Cross have just uh, shipped into the Bahamas 38 tons of humanitarian assistance, among others, kitchen set, tarpaulins, shelter kits to help people to build their own first shelter. And also we have mobilized two logistic units to help us to distribute the humanitarian assistance to the island. For the time being, access to Gran Abaco and to Gran Bahamas is very restricted. Only uh, flights are going there. We can see the situation from the air, but there is still not teams in the ground doing the assessment of damages and needs.